Again, we're staying in the Demo 15 project in the panel subfolder, and we've still got drawing Demo 08.dwg open ready for this video. There's our extra panel that we created with our panel footprints, our balloons, and our nameplates. Now, sometimes in AutoCAD electrical panel drawings, you do need to add what they call DIN rails. Now, DIN rails sit behind a panel and allow you to basically mount various components inside the panel enclosure. So let's have a look at adding a DIN rail to this drawing. Now, you'll notice the enclosure has been updated and tweaked and made a bit smaller to allow some space for a DIN rail in here. We go to the Panel tab on the ribbon, Insert Component Footprints Panel, Icon Menu. And you'll notice in the Insert Footprint dialog, you have the DIN rail selection there. So we select DIN rail, and now we can choose a particular rail type. Now I'm just going to stick with the default, which again is an Allen Bradley, an AB. And then what I can do is I can specify the rail information, the length of it, the XYZ coordinates if I need them, the orientation, do I want a horizontal or vertical DIN rail, and the scale itself. Now I'm working to JIC standards, which are imperial standards. So the scale there can actually stay at one in this particular case. Panel mounting, it's going to be NC holes. So basically that means that I can set up holes so that I can hang or mount the components off of the actual DIN rail itself. So if I click on OK now, that'll just insert the DIN rail. I need to pick the rail information first. So if I click there, I can come into the drawing, specify the insertion point, click. This is where polar tracking is useful. But you'll notice polar tracking isn't on, it's ortho. It actually fixes the ortho setting in the status bar down at the bottom of the screen for you. So we know that it's either going to be horizontal or vertical, it's fixed. So if I come along this way, I'm going to get to there, that's going to be, say, 8 long. So I can type in 8 for the end point of the rail. There's the length 8 for me. There's the coordinates. I click on OK, and there's my DIN rail. Now I can give it an item number, I can give it a tag. So you might give it a tag of something simple like DIN 001 in this particular case. You might specify the installation, the location. There's the catalog data. I click on OK, and there's my DIN rail. If I zoom in now, you can see there's the NC holes. There's the DIN 001 tag, all ready to be used on your panel drawing in AutoCAD Electrical.